Hello there. It is me, Rev Ricky D. And uh, this time we're playing Creeper World 4. That's right. Uh, if you've never seen Creeper World 4, uh, or Creeper World in general, it's... It's a... I think it's a unique game. Uh, we're gonna go into the dailies. I've beaten the campaign before, so um, I thought about doing some of the span experiments. Uh, for now, we'll just start with the dailies and see where that leads us. Uh, my plan is to do a daily... Uh, have a daily release every day. Uh, not the daily when it comes out because I record these uh, in the past. Um, and I'll probably play all of these. Um, so that's why I'm starting with the 15th. Well, I'll show you a little bit of... Uh, of what the game is. I actually haven't played it in about a month and I've only had it for about two months. However, I've watched a bit of it. So, uh, so the game is essentially just uh, if you'll bear with me one moment. The game is essentially <clears throat> these things are called emitters and they release something called creeper. Uh, creeper in the in the lore as I understand it is sort of like a uh, like a, a weird little nano machine uh, the joke most people will make uh, or I guess some people will make is that you're fighting the ocean and that's kind of what it looks like it looks like it's blue goo uh, but very instead of viscous like goo is it's more it's uh, more liquid and it, it these emitters create it in vast quantities and it slowly is trying to take over the entire universe I think the some of the lore is that it's like um, it goes in these cycles uh, I would say uh, if you've ever played Mass Effect, and I'm sure there are other there are other stories that follow this sort of this sort of uh, storytelling trope of uh, life being sort of cyclical with some sort of uh, society and civilization ending cataclysm that comes at the end, and Creeper is part of this where society gets to a certain point civilization grows to a certain point and then creeper is bombed from the outer reaches of the universe to wipe all technology away wipe all life away eat every last living thing and every last thing that can exist and then life begins anew somehow i i, I don't know so that that's like that's the lore that's that's what we're dealing with here um so, short answer is we're fighting uh, a malevolent ocean with guns and cannon or mortars and um, and other things. And we have we have a little anti creeper of our own. And, and uh, yeah. So and then there are other things that I'll shout out as 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 they become relevant. Um, so so now uh, the first thing we do is we select our rematerialization co coordinates. We're, we're basically a dude in this, like, time and space traveling ship that we, we, we land places and, um, and, uh, and try to neutralize all the, the creeper sources that we can find and, and there's, there's other, there's other lore things, um, however, I, th I think that's, that's, that's a good, um, that's a good that's a good start right uh, 
kind of think here is probably the safe place to go. And it's good because we're close to... This is, um... This is good for mines. You can put mines on it and it mines different things. I'm also considering doing something like putting our base next to one of these. See, this actually might might be a good spot. It is downhill, but it is also close to close to some of this stuff, which is red on some of this, and then um, close to this as well, which we might be able to connect to some of these. And then it's close to this, which once we get some of this stuff, this is green R, we'll be able to make this into a uh, into a shield, and that would protect our protect our little base for the moment. Um, it will probably not take me that long, this long, to get started. Um, however, I was explaining things and I haven't been playing uh, in about a month, so I'm kind of like, huh, what do I do? Um, yeah, I guess I, I like this place enough. This is probably the smarter place. We can go right here. This could work. Mm, I'm, I'm gonna go right here uh, and regret it. Yeah, we're gonna go right there. I'm not happy about that actually. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the next thing you have to know is uh, this is one of the things that you do to get... Um... Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm going to start with a, uh, with a mine. We're going to start with a mine. How's that? One mine. And I've forgotten all the buttons, so that's good. It's very good. Uh, so... Some players will talk about the grid. Um, the grid is very important. And I've, I've already made this um, awful for the grid. This, that was an awful place to put that, but um, you know what? We're, we're, we're sticking with it, is what's happening here. Um, so, yeah. I, I will be doing this a lot, where I, I, I try to line up something um, Perfectly, so that it lines up uh, along the uh, basically this. If you push it too far, you'll lose the amount of energy you gain from it. So you want it to be, you want to make sure that you're getting the most out of it. Anyway, um, which way do we want to go? We probably want to go this way. Although this way is probably pretty good, right? This is probably a good way to go. Um, um, let's just, uh, do that. Not a fan of that, but, oh, man, there's just, anyway, we're just, we're, we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. Anyway, yeah, let's just, let's just, let's stick with that for now. Okay. So these little things, they, they have this green thing that's growing around it. Uh, eventually it'll fill out to that full square and uh, you gain energy based on the coverage that they have. So that's why you want these to be as basically take up as much space as they can this one isn't getting as much because it's open air it's not getting all of the uh all of the resources that it possibly could all right we are going to need a weapon hmm probably do something like this uh.
Okay. And now let's, uh, oh, let's, uh, get another mine down. Uh, so you'll see I did that. Those are these little floating cubes up here. You can see there's like, um, what are they? Energy resource nodes or something? I don't know. But they're they're little hyper cube things that boost the um, boost stuff. Um, hello? Oh. So you can tell uh, tell different things that to. To take the these urns, and it's a, uh, and it makes them kind of over overpowered, uh, ultra powered, powered, high, highly powered. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't click it. I didn't click it. It's fine. Okay. Um, we now need more things. We're doing good on. We're gonna need to, uh... <laughs> I'm just, uh, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. I just, not having played this in, in a month is, um, somehow just, That by itself has made me uh, just kind of forget everything. Yeah, and I've been I've been playing a lot of other stuff, and it's just you know, it's just very easy to uh... what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Oh, we can do we can, we can do that. That's that's a good one. I'll we'll take that one as well. And, Look, it's 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 almost as far from perfect as, as you can imagine. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, however, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Okay. So now. That guy doesn't need an urn anymore. Definitely not. Who needs an urn? Let's let's give it to this guy right here. That guy. Who's gonna be built precisely when we need him to be built, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um let's get Let's get a Let's get. What, what what am I looking for? A refinery. That's what we want, right? Okay. 
Yes, we want a refinery. Um, that will be great for these uh, for these shields. We also need a uh, factor. Right. Refinery's gonna uh, farm this green R mother, and that will help with um, getting the liftic needed to make these into uh, good um, to shields, which will be good. Um, it'll protect certain structures, and then the factory is making right now some. Uh, It'll it'll make all these different things, but it'll make uh so it'll make the green R mother into lithic, which is the green stuff, and then it also makes the red stuff into ARG, which whatever that is. Uh but that is used for a number of things, including missiles. Which uh well they defend things. They defend Against, uh, they're, they're anti-air. That's what they are. And, uh... Let's, let's, let's put you there. That's a good spot. Put another one over here. And we'll put, uh, another one back here. Uh, right... There. Okay. Uh, I do tend to pause a lot, uh, to which you'll have my, well, my greatest apologies. Uh, okay, so that noise means that things are, are kicking off. It tells you up down here 52 seconds until stuff is happening. Okay, so these spore launchers are the are the air things. They'll come in these big arcs. They're like giant artillery, and uh, the the missile launchers will take them out. And we do have, I think, just the one blob nest. Oh, and we have uh, skimmer factories as well. Okay, so blob nests are like little blobby guys who run along the ground and try and take things. And try and blow stuff up and and eat stuff and destroy it and all that. Um, and skimmers are little; they skim along the surface of the the water, and they try to hit things and basically stun it. Uh, both of which you will need uh, snipers to take out, or you'll lose stuff. So, so we'll, um, we'll want, I mean, because there's three of these and three of these, we kind of want a lot of snipers, actually. We actually want, like, because, because one sniper can take out multiple things at once, uh, but not super effectively. Um, and they have line of sight problems as well. So we are going to need to get some towers going to power everything that guy is in the wrong place and I apologize for what I've done I know look nobody knows nobody knows like I do okay the 
I know better than anyone else the atrocities I've committed uh, with with the grid in mind. And all I can do is is just is just apologize uh, and and tell you I want to be better. I do. Okay, for, for, for right now, we're going to hope that's enough snipers. Okay. So, <clears throat> the, the liftic is starting to kick in. We're getting the uh, these totems activated. That's one of, up here you can see the activate totems. That's part of it, part of the objectives. Okay. You have three seconds. Are you ready? Okay. And this happens. Okay, they sh that was some of those blobs going. Um, there we go. This happens quite a bit. They're, it's pretty random what the spore launchers attack. Um, uh, you'll also notice there's these eggs, these spore launchers. Also, you want to nullify them kind of quick because that's one of the things that they do is they launch these eggs at things that haven't been um, nullified or taken over or activated. Um, and uh, when those are exposed to air or when they're shot with a sniper rifle, when those eggs are, uh, they they explode in like a, a big um, a big pile of creep. So yeah. so Anyway, um, uh, so how are we going to tackle this? Well, there, there's a lot of mine, mine opportunities. What I am thinking is we just, um, uh, one really strong strategy as far as I'm concerned is uh, take turn those into mines and then you can change the mines from energy to blueite and blueite is this stuff and uh, that's what produces uh, anti anti creeper uh, and AC is is pretty strong um, I think personally the strongest the strongest strategy in this game is literally just build a bunch of cannons and just slowly push your way through um however with all of these mines i think if i turn them all into blueite um we'll be able to flood the map and that will be uh maybe not as uh as strong however i think it will be pretty strong and uh, it'll be a good um, a good way of uh, explaining some of the things that you can do with uh, with this game. Um, before I do that, though, uh, let's let's see if we can't get some more energy. Okay. Because if we can get some energy, um, that'll be that'll be helpful. Nice. And uh, we're gonna want something here. 
thing. I'm going to put this guy right here. And we'll put this guy right here, maybe. And then we'll put a... Yeah, wait, just... Just one moment. There we go. That looks okay. Okay. Taking up some mining spots. Okay, is that safe? I don't think that's safe, is it? So the, the T-E-R-P, uh, it's, it's a terraforming thing. I will probably call it the terraformer, because, uh, you know, if, if you know, you know, if you don't, uh, well, it's, it is what it is. Not a big deal. Um, or it is, I don't know. I can't say. Um, Anyway, um, yeah. So the terraformer will help us clear this stuff up. Um, I know there's a a button for that. Um, but I don't remember what it is. Let's uh, let's get that all taken care of. <clears throat> All right. Uh, this could use some work. Uh, we'll go here. So This is one of those uh, pretty satisfying parts uh, of the game. Um, just kind of being able to flatten stuff up, make it look uh, make it look pretty. Um, um, uh, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was so. You can, if you hold control, uh, you'll go in a straight line, uh, and so you won't like make a lot of deviations. What kept happening is when I w would hit control and start to drag, I would drag in one direction on accident, and it would lock me to that, uh, to the to that axis. I have forgotten what I'm doing, what I'm talking about. Um, so, uh, right. Okay. Do it just in case. <clears throat> okay. 
All right. And let's uh, let's raise that maybe. And then uh, we'll get to this when we when we once we're once we're oh. there. Okay. So let's uh, let's actually build a couple of these. Get things get things going. the phone. I don't like this. Give me, give me something there. And then you, why don't you go like here. There we go. That seems better. Alright. So let's, uh, let's build another important structure, the urn portal. Sure. Okay. So you can see some of these urns are are buried, and you saw that I. You may have seen that I, I, I earned two more by uh, building this terp here. I was like, why isn't this getting done? Well, this one can actually reach over here. Alright, uh, let's actually do mine collection and uh, I like fire range. That, that works for now. And then this thing, it boosts those uh, boosts those stats, but it does it does so uh, with, an, with an efficiency um, modifier. So you saw like it doesn't immediately boost that production by that. It it takes time. And then eventually it'll 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 be a really a really strong boost. Uh for right now it's not very strong. But we'll do we'll do that because um I'm planning on building mines everywhere. Uh everywhere that we can fit them. And that way, it'll be very, uh, it'll be an even bigger boost. And when we turn it to blue white and start building anti creeper, um, it'll be, it'll just be, it'll be crazy. It'll be bonkers. It'll be very strong. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. Um, how's that? That's pretty good. Um, this looks like I didn't do a very good job, but I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. Hmm. How do you... How do you... How, how do you... Destroy it! 
Okay. Uh... Okay, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I will now tell you what's happening is, okay, it says press O to rotate, and I knew, I knew I did not leave it as O. I knew that I had changed it, because O is just like, it's, it's annoying to have to reach over there and press it. So I, I knew I changed it, but I just couldn't tell what I, couldn't remember what I changed it to. Alright, so we didn't do a very good job with this terraforming, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fix that. Okay. Um all right. We probably don't have to do that much. In fact we definitely don't have to do this. That, that should work. I can't believe that's not connected. But that's connected. So that should that should get everything there. And now all of you are done here. So get over here. Okay. Uh, let's do a little bit of a little bit of that put this guy like also didn't do a very good job here um, but that's that's not really I can't believe 
big deal. We're, we're, we're losing that much, which I'll admit is distressing. So we're going to fix it. We are, I promise you, we are going to fix it. Um, Every last drop. We want it all. We want everything these mines have to offer. Because we're going to use it all. To fight the ocean. Right? That's... Fighting the ocean is our goal. Get down here. You get down here. You, you fight that ocean. You get in there. All right. There we go. That's progress. This is progress, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is what we were born for, to fight the ocean. All right, and now uh, we want all of you over here because we're gonna have to do some. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have to do some stuff here. I don't know what yet. Kind of thinking the way that these two are close enough, we may want to turn put all of it on the same level um i think we're gonna go with this level this level right here so if i remembered what the button was for terraforming and i know i i set it to something i know i have a hockey for it just don't know what it is i would use it um but i don't so i didn't we got here. What have we got here? Right. Okay. I didn't hold. Uh, I didn't hold control. That may that may end up as a problem. Or it may not. Yet to see, yet to see. All this, all this. This as well. Okay. Um, yeah, give me, give me this as well. And then, um, this guy, let's move. There. It's a great spot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, see it's 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 got enough overlap. That's that's good. That's good. Alright. Everything is ruined. Uh yeah, I'm gonna um I'm gonna I'm just gonna restart uh this level. Um because this is uh that's a joke. That's a joke. However, I am going to move this one back one, which is going to be 
annoying, but um, hopefully we will survive uh, whatever comes here. Um, but yeah, there we go. Much better. That'll that'll get fixed in just a moment. There we are. Okay, we can put that there. Okay, there we go. And now we, uh, yeah, everything should be should be good from here on out. I think we've made a mistake. Do you see the mistake we've made? Hmm. All right. Hold on. We got to see. We got to see. How's that? That's fine. Okay. It's going to suck. It's going to suck. We're all going to hate it. But we're all in this together, right? We're all in this together. It's it's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. We're going to be fine, okay? We're going to be fine. So I need you I need you to defend this actually. This is what I need you to do. I need a, uh, I think I need a mortar here. I actually think what I should do is, um, is start, uh, changing these to blue eye. Because this we could have flooded with, uh, anti-creeper a long time ago. I would have made our, our lives a lot easier. We also don't have any pylons, I'm realizing. I'm realizing now we don't have any pylons. Pylons are great. They speed up your energy, uh, the movement of your resources. So we, we could have been doing that um, a while ago. So, probably should have done that a while ago. Um, but, you know, you is it it's you you're the problem don't you just don't you just get in that pit there yeah, there we go just like oh, this is such a disaster I mean it's it's fine all right it's fine is it fine it's so not fine is it it's so 
we're about to be in a lot of trouble. This is going... This is... Okay. Okay, so let me just... If this turns into a shield, I'm pretty sure it pops these eggs up in the air and then displaces them away from the from the shield. Which direction? I don't know. Uh, my assumption is basically the direction that they are from the center. So my assumption is this one's going to go flying this way. This one is going to go flying that way. That one's going to go flying that way. However, I don't know that for certain. I don't know what kind of bounce these eggs are going to take. They could all take a really bizarre bounce and land here in the middle of all of my mines and just destroy them. So it's much better if I have them pop here. So let's see if we can't uh, get that to happen. And then we'll have you here as a, uh, hopefully, to help. And then, and then, and only then, should we, uh, should we try to connect it. There we go. Should, that should help some stuff. Okay. Feeling good about that. I'm, um... Mostly just because, just because I can, kind of a thing. All right, well. This is maybe one of the bizarrest ways I've done this, I feel like, so far. I don't know if this is going to work at all. Did that even have power? It doesn't even have power. So, I will admit, what's about to happen here, this, this is a nullifier, it nullifies uh, these structures. Now, when this stops this emitter from emitting, all of this creep is going to flow away. Um, these shields aren't impervious, they, they have weird, weird ways that they operate. And stuff can get in, stuff can, if it goes too high, it will come in. Um, 
it's uh it's it's a it's a little strange it's a little wonky this this you can see there's like there's creep in here um so so this is good right it's it's doing it's doing a good thing here however the creep is going to clear out and these eggs are going to be exposed to air and they're going to explode and unleash a bunch of creep and when that happens, my fear is that they will wash in and destroy this, uh, this thing. Um, I'm gonna actually overload and hope that that does it in time. Mm, okay, okay. Uh... Look, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think everything's fine. I think everything's fine. Okay, so this is this is the crux of the game. We're we're now about to to do the thing that we we uh, we do. Um, that's that's like the the main thing. Um, so you can also overload these, and uh, and it will destroy the nullifier, but destroy the thing, so it can't be. It can't, uh, it can't be brought back, essentially. Um, am I missing? I would be missing one. Well, you know what that means. Everybody get over here. And fix that for me. So, we heard it. We heard an explosion. The the screen shook. Oh no! Some something of ours died. Well, down here, there's a little list of what's what's happening. Our nullifier was destroyed, um, and it shows you a little thing where where it was. Well, yeah, of course, our nullifier was destroyed. We were we did that on purpose. We were overloading it so that we could destroy that emitter. Whew. I would. I wasn't freaking out. What? Were you scared? I wasn't scared. What do you mean? Uh, everything's fine. You're 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 all worried for nothing. Uh, look, it was. Uh, it's all fine. It's all we're we're good. We're you know we're we're doing what uh, we're doing. We're doing what we set out to do. We're we're fighting the ocean here. We're 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 conquering the ocean. The ocean. The ocean's got nothing on us, okay? We're we're fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Um. Anyway. Anyway. Um. Unrelated. I may need to pause the episode to clean my shorts. That is a joke. That is a joke. I would never clean my shorts. That's. Um, I, I really don't I, I, I don't know what that means okay hold on hold on hold on hold on can we do this can we do this the other way though can we do this the other way like can we do this does that work oh yes it does work uh, except 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 we need the terraformers. All right, let's um, let's uh, let's 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 let
sets. In fact, let's up the brush size. There. All right, and I'm gonna tell you, this guy right here, he's out of here. We never needed him. We never needed him. He was just holding us back. All right, and we, we also do need to, um, we do need to uh, clear that out as well. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, but we do need something in this area. There. Look. Uh, I... I... I recognize, alright? I recognize... I'm not doing a great job. I'm I'm doing I'm doing a, a um No, that was horrible. Um But we've talked about this already, right? Like recognize. Recognize that I recognize my atrocities towards, you know, order and the grid and um uh you know, all all of these things. I I, I understand you understand, we understand together, right? So, just, right, just, 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 <laughs> please, please don't, please don't hate me, you know? Please, please, just, I'm, You, we both know that I could be doing worse, and um, I all I can hope for at this point is that some of it counts towards something. I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, so up here you can see this is our energy generation. There's nothing, there's literally not, this isn't connect, this isn't connected. Can you put, will this work? How about this? There. Awful. Just truly abysmal. However, it connects. We have, some, we have, we have something that will deal with that. Okay, we have, we have things, we have ways of making you, um, anyway. Uh... That is because of these things and all of our minds, and it's it, it's pretty decent for having only control of um, you know like a probably a quarter of the map, a third of the map, something like that. Um, and it's solely because of all the minds and that we put it all into mine production. Um, what I'm gonna try for the moment is actually to nice, very nice, turn them all to blue light and see what happens to our energy. Okay, not great. Not great, actually. Not not very good at all. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna switch it back. Um, we're gonna switch uh, at least some of them back. Um, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna create uh, a bunch of these. And we're gonna turn them to always on. And then, um, yeah, uh, how about this? Turn you guys to energy. Yeah, we, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. Okay, so now we have these. Um, I turned them to always on, so they're always s spraying out that stuff. Now let's see where our, uh, where our supply, here's our supply of that, of that, um, of the anti-creep. 
Um, I think 360, yeah, is our is the most that we can store at a time. It seems to be. It seems like nine was the wet nine was the number. So, if that is true, if that is true, then that you know what that means. We got to build another. Okay. Um, our cannon that was sitting right here was destroyed. And I can tell you why. Um, a blob got him. A blob got him. Yeah, I... I, <laughs> I was going to mention it a little earlier. Um... Actually... I just forgot. Uh, I did have a concern uh, when we were building all these that the blobs were going to come this way and hit our mines. Uh, I had that concern. I had that thought. What I did about it um, is, well, uh, that that's it. That's, that's what I did about it. That's all I did. Anyway, so... So what you'll see is now we're getting this like fog rolling in. That's anti creeper, and it fights against the uh, against the creep. The one of the great things about anti creeper is um, especially it's especially strong against the spores. In my opinion, you fill you kind of. If you ha if you're building in these kind of lowland areas, right? This if the if a spore gets by your uh, your missile launchers and hits like for example all of these mines, you don't have any defenses on these mines. They're all going to be destroyed except if you have this anti creeper stored up, and that's that that that's where it really shines. Um, but it is still effective because at a certain point you're just um you're gonna be making enough anti-creeper to just kind of just very slowly push back the tide um especially since we have um we have hit our uh we've destroyed this this emitter that was here we've slowed down their creep generation so much that um that our anti creeper is potentially just going to just slowly push the, push it back. Once we fill up this, uh, uh, what some people call the bathtub. So yeah, we've we've got that. We can let that do its thing. Uh, however. We should probably uh, do other things with our time. So let's um, let's bring a terraformer over here, and do a little terraforming. Do that. Get a little bit of a little area that we can work in over here. Yeesh. Speaking of, don't have much area to work with over here. Um. So a couple other things that we can explain. Uh, 
since we're here, this mesh, it's like, it helps the creeper grow and it grows kind of quick. Um, grow and flow, I guess. Um, so it's very, uh, it's very difficult to deal with. Um, you can't really, you can build on it, but because it flows so quickly along it, it is, it's, it's very dangerous. It will get, um, it's stuff will easily be destroyed unless you have stuff very specifically shooting at it. Um, you'll also notice this, uh, this pink stuff that is crimson. And I think that's being propagated by these little guys that I think are coming out of the skimmer factory. Um, it's very resistant to bullets and it's very resistant to mortars, like the traditional stuff that you attack with. Uh, so it's another reason to have anti-creeper going. Speaking of, we're not running out. That's probably because I don't have pylons moving from the factory to this guy. But I think we're going to build another sprayer. And a little bit of always on. And uh, speaking of pylons, we'll probably start getting them very shortly. Uh, uh, you know what? I might, I might just say, pylons. We don't need you. We don't need pylons. You know, I don't need pylons because we have these. Build that one, and then. Dang it. <laughs> Just nowhere to build over here. Okay. We got a terraform. And we got to, uh, I don't know. What is this? Uh, here. This. What, what height is that? That's 20? Fine. There. It's gonna take too long. We'll bring these. Here? That's close enough, right? There. Okay. It's gonna take too long and I shouldn't do it that way, uh, but I'm stubborn. Welcome to how I do things. You can also set the terraformers to do things like, um... Uh... Target the... So right now what it's doing is targeting like the lowest or the, the furthest from the height or that you're looking for or whatever. Um, I'm sure there's a way to... 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 Where is it? Yeah, so, I, okay, so I don't know what its default is, but there is a nearest first. So I could have it, like, doing these ones that are closer to it first. Um, but I think right now what it's doing is the lowest. 
or the furthest value from the value you're attempting to terraform to. So you can see our uh, our anti creeper is just it's just out here tussling it up doing 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 good work um so this thing that i built the m rift is basically like it teleports resources um so normally so the the two main things that are moving are energy and and then other resources like ammo and uh and these so actually what i should do is i should make an m right here um so it's like it's kind of like it's kind of like one of these wires that transmit except it goes straight from it goes from the source to here and then out the next m rift wherever you're trying to go so what i want to do is i want to put an m rift up here in the shield so it's nice and because they're very expensive to make they take uh 200 of the the arg so it's it it takes quite a bit to make so if it gets destroyed that's that's tragic um so what i want to do is i want to build it in the shield so it's a little safer um so if i get that built up here it will instantly travel it will instantly from here put the the anti creeper into the this m rift and then come out in this m rift which i'm going to build uh soon soon yeah we'll uh we'll we'll build it right now there we go i'm also going to build a tower right there Um, so, what I am just now noticing is none of these power cables are connected anymore because I blocked connection to this power cable because I built this wall too high. So, there you go so but I realized it it was probably um, it's probably been like this for a while and I'm and, and, and I apologize however you know oh no I not only broke the wait though that one is connected i broke this one okay okay i was like why isn't why aren't things like okay okay there we go look at that look at that we're doing it. We're actually doing it. We're recognizing our mistakes, and 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 striving to uh, to to fix them. Okay.
<clears throat> now, uh... <laughs> One of the things that I, I'm, I'm also going to just recognize right now is that... I'm a very slow and methodical person. Just in general. Doing commentary while uh, while I play this game is definitely going to slow me down. Uh, so, what that's probably going to end up with is some of the slowest clears you've ever seen uh, in... In, in Creeper World. I mean, these maps probably take a competent person, you know, half an hour to an hour. Uh, me, I'm... I like to think of myself as very competent, however, also just, just, just too slow. Just too slow. Um... But, is what it is. Uh, so all, all we can hope for at this point is uh, is that you're you're cool with the uh, you're cool with the with with the with the banter, right? You're cool with the explanations. You're cool with the commentary. Um, because if not, well, then I don't know what to tell you. So you can change the priority and you can clear out the mesh instead. That is a, a good way to uh, to help deal with the the problem of not being able to build on the mesh. It's just sometimes it it fills up so fast that it's really tough to uh, to get stuff built on it. Um, if the emitters are too strong, um, that kind of stuff, uh, it becomes it becomes a problem. I'm actually gonna go a little crazy here. All right, we might be able to build this nullifier now. Set that to overload right away. As a just in case. Yeah. Okay. It's looking good. clear out that uh, that mesh okay 
let's um we'll do our we'll do fire right should probably do energy collection but because I did notice we were we were in the red for a little bit earlier when we were trying to build all this stuff. But... Then again, all this is uh, pretty much uncontested territory now, and it'll probably even shrink more now that we've got this nullified. Because um, now their only source of creep, I think, there we go. Is this one? No, wait, there's two of them here. There are two! Okay. So, all this area being uncontested is great for us to be able to build, um. Build these. fine. Ugh. You destroy. Okay. Just with the uh, just with the anti creep, we can probably actually get this uh, and a and a little help from from this guy. Uh, we can probably get that spore launcher taken care of here. boy that's not good that's pretty bad Actually, see. Let's 
Let's see if we can't get this, uh... Ooh. got that, uh, that, that urn. I'm gonna give it to energy collection. Just because. Well, that's, that's, that's an interesting interaction that I didn't, uh, that I didn't explain yet. Um, if a spore hits your hits these totem shields, and we have shield generators as well that we can we can make our own shields, um, it like knocks the shield out for uh, you know for a limited amount of time. So that's something to keep in mind. That sound is the delegate. Uh, when we when we reclaim a certain amount of the map, it will start charging, and once it's fully charged, you get the reclaim. Uh, Not quite. <laughs> Speaking of, um, yeah, we um, we were doing really well, and then uh, then a couple things, couple eggs exploded or something, and the spores went off and all that. So it uh, it reversed our charge. So there you go. So that's that's what happened there, um, and now. Um, now we're <laughs> we're fighting. We're fighting. We're almost there. We uh Oh, you, you know, it, it may even be that because I moved this guy up and these guys up and they started shooting uh eggs. That might have that might be what did it. Um I, I'm going to I'm going to build a couple more sprayers, I think. Yep. These, uh... It's unfortunate. But we could probably, like... For example, move this guy up to here and... We'll start... We'll, we'll lose our charge a lot because we moved that guy. But... Once he gets seated, it'll be, um... It'll be good. Yeah. 
there we go. That's that. That's that done. Perfect. Okay, so uh, one of the things we're going to want to do is get this spore launcher taken care of, probably get our way up here too, get both of these spore launchers taken off. Um, Five, six, yeah. There we go. Close and a couple of these. You can also see like the these little red blips those are the like the the health of the of the can in there uh you see it's like it's in the shield but because it's like it's not it's not perfect right so uh sometimes they'll take damage even when it looks like they're in the shield they're not perfectly in the shield and the f the the flow of the of the creep can can kind of edge its way in there so it'll take a little damage it happens um, gosh that could be that could be a disaster it's definitely going this way more than it's going this way though which is which is good for me now not as good for me later probably but is what it is Um, so yeah, I'm just, It is uh, very often preferable to just uh, um, sort of leapfrog your units um, just because it, it takes it takes time to build new units, and so it'll be. It can be kind of a uh, quicker overall to just let the uh, let the old units kind of kind of do the work. So just kind of, um, but 
sometimes that can be a little dicey and it might take a little bit longer overall because it's like there's not enough firepower um, so sometimes I'll just I'll just build a new front line and let that do what it's doing Insane. Insane. You don't even have to go all the way up there. Let's, um... <laughs> oh man I, get, I gotta tell you uh, one of the reasons that I stopped playing Creeper World a month ago oh boy um, involves let's um I don't know what, what, what do we do what do we do uh, how about Let's get this guy. He he wants he wants an, he wants that final iron. It um Basically, I played on a map that was not not too much like this, um, but it did have an absolute nasty um, mesh setup like this, but it was like in the middle of the map, and so it was like on sort of like a plateau in the middle and then there were a bunch of things down below with like uh like little valleys that just were filled with creep so i couldn't get to them very easily and i couldn't get to the emitters very easily and uh and it definitely didn't have the energy production it had like one little mine area and you you were like you had like this much of the map to work with before all of this like all of this stuff was all of this mesh stuff was in the middle and then there were like two little plateaus like off in the corners and so what it ended up being was that you would 
um, like, clear out this, like, really thin line, um, to, to get somewhere, and that wasn't working, so I ended up using porters, which are another thing, um, that can deliver <laughs> resources, and I delivered the porters to these, like, little plateaus in the back corner to deliver m -riffs, to make m -riffs, to then get, like, an outpost here and then push my way from, from the back corner to, to get close enough to take out one emitter, and then that sort of snowballed, but, man... It was just such a such a slow go that hey, I thought I turned this to overload. Um, that like the next time I went to play, I went to play. Uh, you know, I quit for the day and was like, "Oh man, that was so frustrating. It was so tough." And so quit for the day, went to go back the next day, fired it up, turned it on, and the first the the first map I encountered was like it just looked like it was gonna be another one that was just like a long 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 game and I just went you know what, I'm gonna do something else and then I never went back I just stopped playing um Uh, so, once you act, once you activate all of the totems, you can leave, you can just call it, call it quits, and be, and say you're done. Um, not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep pressing on. We'll, we'll, we'll complete all the objectives, I think. I think that's, that's, uh, that's what we'll do. Um, I kind of think we should take out the skimmer factory. This is just, this is all clear. I just have to make my way up to it through these, right? I just have to build a beacon, right? I just have to build a beacon, right? Is all, is all I have to do, I think. There we go. I think I'll build an M rift right here once we uh, once we take out this skimmer factory. Let's see if this works. It shouldn't, right? Okay, good. Uh, let's get nullifier down then. Uh, hello? Well then. Fine. That's fine. And we're going to want the terraformers, I think. Um
Mm, I think that's gonna be too close. Maybe I'll get one right here. There we go. And we'll we'll bring some of those. Uh, we'll move these out and bring some sprayers up there once we. Uh, In fact, uh, let's get this started. Uh, one thing we never talked about, well, we talked, we didn't talk about two things. Uh, one of them is the Dark Tower. As you may have seen, I've just built this uh, beacon, which gets rid of the, the darkness around it. Um, so you can actually build stuff and do stuff. Um, the other thing we didn't talk about was this, the stash. Uh, basically, it just it absorbs any creep near it, then fills up to that 2,000, and then, uh, like, expels it all at once. Um... Let me overload this. Uh, it just creates those... It creates a lot of waves, which, um, then cut sort of over can overwhelm like your defenses um so it, it can be it can be annoying so it's a it's a good thing that we kind of remove these emitters that were feeding it okay this is looking very good already uh There are still a lot of eggs in this area, which are going to make this um, potentially scary. Um, so, let's turn you to mesh, turn you to mesh, and then... I don't know if that's gonna work. We may have to uh, reverse these spots, put these guys up. Yep. <laughs> okay, okay. You made your point. Um, that guy there. Is this gonna be close enough or no? just might scare me every single time by the way I, I don't I don't want to uh, I don't want to alarm you but that might scare me every single time it happens even though I tell it to do it even though I tell it to overload and explode just that sound is so um, anx anxiety inducing right you know because it usually usually means something bad has happened. 
can you, can you, can you do... Oh, it's not going to be in time. The skimmers are going to get out. And what are they going to do? They... Nothing happened. I guess they got shot and I didn't hear it or something? Well. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. All right. And now it's just um, figuring out how to get through this. Which, uh, shouldn't be too terrible. well and uh it's uh it's interesting I think there's still one of those little guys. Yeah, there's a little guy here still spitting out those little things. See it it's uh it's resilient the mesh. It really it really um I don't know if that's gonna survive. It's taken a little damage, but it's um, it's it's hanging in there. It's hanging in there. Okay, we're doing it. It just... It just doesn't care, you know? The mesh just doesn't care about the... Uh, about what you got.
we might actually be be ready to uh, to do the next one. It's uh, it's pretty close. <laughs> it's 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 so dicey though. Uh, it just the mesh. It just keeps crawling up that mesh, and then and. And doing a little damage. What I should, pr uh, what I should probably do is stop this guy, because I think what he's doing is popping these eggs eventually, and that's what's that's what's causing the it to. Uh, but but I think we've actually, uh, I think we've made it. Let's see, let's see what, uh, let's see, that should, we got two eggs left, <laughs> um, I think I see one there, I don't know where the last one is, it might be, is it on it there? I don't know, but we should, this should be fine. We should just be fine to just do a nullifier and just uh, be, uh, be cool. Okay. gonna say this might have been a mistake but uh two eggs we might be able to handle two eggs yeah we're good we're good we're good okay and we gotta overload it we gotta overload it so that we can be but so we can be certain that this is an area of the universe we are happy with leaving there's no no creeper here When this says zero over here, and this says zero up here, that's when we know we, we've done our job. And if I weren't recording a video, um, sometimes I'll wait until like, because it's satisfying, right? It's satisfying to clear everything off. It's satisfying to see this like, this anti-creep just covered the entire map. So, because what's going to happen, we're going to rift jump. Rift jump means taking our uh, our little our little spaceship base thing to a different part of the universe. So, you know, in my mind, I'm like, well, we want to leave this place like set up in case the creeper comes back, or people in future generations that arrive here and need to use it as a, I know I'm an insane person I recognize this it's not normal it's not it's 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 a bizarre way to think however what can I say I I recognize it and uh, however it makes me happy it, it's satisfying as I said it's satisfying to see this you know this this anti creep cover the entire map, cover everything, and and in my little gremlin goblin brain, I'm like, ooh, it's so nice to 
to have everything done. There we go. There we go. Hour and 26 minutes. Hit that rift jump. Jump initiated. <laughs> I love this. This is one of my favorite things. Is Look at how long it took us to do all this stuff. And look at how long it took some people to do it. Just, just baffling, you know? Six minutes. This person is just... It's just a monster and and I and I know if I took the time if I like sat here for like 20 30 minutes before I started anything and just studied the map we might have been able to do something crazy like this however I wouldn't be talking uh, I wouldn't be having a lot of fun um, it would be very stressful and uh, for me creeper world is all about you know satisfaction the satisfaction of you know con completing goals conquering things you know and and seeing your number triumph over the your number triumph over the enemy number is kind of the you know you know painting painting your the map your color instead of the other color don't really like the way that came out anyway um yeah that's i, I think that's it for me right that's it that's a video a, a long video um and i'm assuming the next videos won't be quite as long because i won't spend so much time uh thinking about how to explain things and explaining things and all that stuff so uh i do hope you enjoyed um, and I do, uh, hope to see you in the next video. So I, I thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I'll see ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.